Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück bei The Long Dark. Episode 3 Crossroads Energy. Ende Oktober rausgekommen, die Fortsetzung. Episode 1 und 2 haben wir quasi schon gespielt. Das Abenteuer von Mackenzie und Astrid. Nach ihrem Flugzeugabsturz im eisigen Kanada. Die, ähm Astrid war irgendwie auf Rettungsmission. Einen wertvollen Koffer dabei gehabt, mit irgendwelcher Medizin angeblich drin. Den sie irgendwie zurückgelassen hat. Wir sind beim Absturz getrennt worden. Der McKenzie hat den Koffer mitgenommen. Das war Episode 2. Jetzt geht's weiter mit der dritten. Ich freue mich drauf. Dann lass uns mal schauen, wie es weitergeht. Viel Spaß. Dann starten wir mal rein zu Episode 3. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. And not since... I know. But I have to get there. I seem to recall the town somewhere up north, far, what was it called? That's it. Perseverance Mills. It was like sparks everywhere and then fire. She fought like hell to try and get him out. We tried to stop her, but she ended up on the bus. And somehow, she was small enough to crawl through the crushed part. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Hello? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Is there a doctor with you? What's in the case? I have no idea. Don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. Jetzt werden wir tatsächlich erfahren, ob wir den Schlag mit, der kleinen, mit dem kleinen Hämmerchen überlebt haben. Sehr netter kleiner Vorspann. Wenn auch ein bisschen doppelt gemoppelt. Jetzt los. Ah, ah. 
wir da wieder rausgekommen oder träumen wir das gerade? Hm. Okay. Da weiß ich noch nicht so genau, was ich davon halten soll. Schauen wir mal rein. So, she lives. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. Judging by those cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... Uh... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. <laughs> By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Where am I? I told you. My house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. I'm, uh... I I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. Then let's talk. Okay. Dann war sie das wohl, die uns gefunden hat. Und wir sind jetzt Astrid. Ich gehe mal davon aus. Oh, interessant. Machen wir mal nach dem Haus. You said we're in your house. But how did I get here? I was out. Hunting. Came across you in the snow. Buried. You'd been out there for hours. Maybe even days. Nearly dead. Wow. Well, um... Thank you for finding me. Name is Molly. And don't thank me. <laughs> thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. Damn bird wind shut up. Let me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. You carried me here. Drag more like, but yeah. You're pretty far gone. <laughs> Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Oh. All I remember is the tunnel. And wolves. Being chased and then wandering. Forever. Like the world had no end. Yeah. In the woods. In the dark. You can wander for days until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. But you're not from there. No. The old town. Milton. It's... It's gone. Most of them are. It was a fire and... <laughs> Whoa, it's okay. You're all right now. Don't get too worked up. You nearly died out there. That does funny things to people. Is this your kitchen? 
By the time I got you here, there was no way I was carrying you upstairs. So you set up a bed in here. Hours out. This is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. So, the power's been out for a while? Yep. Think it'll come back? Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley, so we're usually prepared for it. Feels like you run this farm on generators for better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start. Or the cars, tractor, the TV's dead, radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, that's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? <laughs> nobody who'd help if you asked for it. I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from a, from a friend. They were in the crash too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Wolves and... Worse. I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah? How are you so sure? Nothing could break that stubborn skull. But you're worried about him. Yes. Then there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, Nobody that sounds like your guy. Freezer's empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. I'll be heading out early to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Rest up some more. You don't look too good. Thank you. I will. And it's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. I mean it. Stay in the house. Mm hmm. Vielen Dank für die Rettung, gute Frau, aber irgendwie bist du ein bisschen komisch. Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. I must be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? <sighs> That's a long story. Well, power's been out for... I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and meat. We aren't going anywhere. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. I'm a doctor. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, 
doctor, Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. <laughs> I need to get to a town up north. Perseverance Mills. You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash. The thing my friend might have. I need it if I'm gonna help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in the plane crash might have? Right. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. That's right. You know what? You coming here to Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. <laughs> okay. Warum? So the people up north in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't going to tell me what they are. No, I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't going to tell me what it is either, are you? Right. Well, you are a lady with a lot of secrets. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there, and it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help, but I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and get on with my work. When you're stronger. So, I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh, husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor, you should know that. I didn't mean to... Uh... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space. I need to think. I'm sorry. I... Stay out of my shit. Was that even on the piss? Looks like I'm not the only one with secrets. Ah, sehr gut. This Kapitel place. Eins. Am I really trapped in here? Kapitel 1 Trauma. Neues Ziel. Halte nach Hinweisen Ausschau um. Ich konnte es nicht mehr lesen. Hm. J für weitere Informationen. Relativ lange Ein Einleitung tatsächlich. Aber storylastig war das ja schon immer das Ganze. Und wir haben hier schon mal einen Kochtopf. Nämlich durchaus entsinnen. Ach, da steht's. Um mehr über Molly zu erfahren. Alles klar. Wenn wir erstmal wieder ein bisschen reinfuchsen. Lange nicht mehr gespielt. Und zwar. Schauen wir uns erstmal ein bisschen hier um. Ja, ne? Also immer sehr viel Story hier bei The Long Dark. Was aber auch äh, davon lebt das Spiel, ne? Das muss auch so sein in dem Fall. Hat mir gerade weh getan oder was? Hier ist nirgends was zum Abernten. Ein Loot. Sagt sich war der Kochtopf. Relativ dunkel hier drin, aber was ein großes Haus. Bist du verrückt? Oh oh. So gut zu Fuß bin ich noch nicht. So weit werde ich wohl nicht kommen. That smarts a bit. Ja, ist gut, Esther. Richtig. 
It's a bit, but I'll make it. Was jetzt bei jedem Schritt hier so einen Aufstand macht. Schädigtes Gewehr. Looks like maybe the barrel like exploded. Okay. Was ist mit dem Ehemann der guten Molly? Für mich macht es den Eindruck, als wenn sie eine selber um die Ecke gebracht hätte. Aber. Äh, wer weiß das schon? Wenn ich jetzt das explodierte Gewehr sehe, könnte es auch was anderes ein Unfall gewesen sein. Der Keller ist verschlossen. Ich könnte höchstens noch nach oben. Wackeln, weil sonst bis jetzt komme ich hier noch nirgends ran. Groß. Mollys Foto. That looks like Molly from a while ago. Oh. War der Ehemann? Ja. Hier gibt es noch nicht allzu viel zu holen. Hm. Need some first aid soon. Ja, da war nichts im, Bade im Badezimmer. Schauen wir uns noch mal kurz oben um. Auch hier ist noch nicht viel los. Das wird wohl ähm, in etwa so ein... Ort für uns sein, wie bei der Omi, die an ihrem Kamin saß. In Episode 2. Das haben wir ja auch erst freigeschaltet, nachdem ich äh, ein Stück der Mission gespielt hatte. Und ähm, dann können wir hier mit Sicherheit auch mal ein paar Schränke öffnen und ein bisschen gut holen. Das erste würde ich sagen. Machen wir mal Schluss für die Folge. Und äh, ich freue mich schon drauf. Mit Astrid sind wir hier unterwegs. In der Runde tatsächlich. Für den Kochtopf von mitten noch. Und den stecken wir schon mal an. Das Wichtigste überhaupt zum Wasser abkochen. Und ich bin mal gespannt, ob wir den Mackenzie äh, wiederfinden. In dieser Episode. Ich kann es nochmal hoffen. Also, äh, danke fürs Zuschauen. Ihr habt Spaß dabei und freut euch auch aufs Ende dieser Geschichte. Bis zur nächsten Folge The Long Dark. Macht's gut. Bis denn. Ciao, ciao. Ist das ein Gejammer hier mit Schweinegüle?